finished. So, you know, we've got to talk about this Cameron Diaz thing. It's pretty wild. Yeah. I mean, she just dropped off the map there for a while. Right. And now she's back, like, in a big way. Huge way. With, back in action. Yeah, back in action. It's, um, it premieres January 17th, 2025 on Netflix. Yep. And we're going to deep dive into the teaser trailer that just dropped for it. Oh, yeah. We got a lot to talk about. We do, because it's, um... This movie, it's it's not just a comeback for Cameron Diaz, right? It's also sort of this like, oh, totally. like return of this whole genre. Uh, the whole like spy comedy. The spy comedy thing. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, we really haven't seen much of that lately. Yeah, it's been a minute. Like everything's like, you know, Gray Man. That's super serious. Argyle, like just dark and gritty. Yeah. And like, yeah, this feels like a real return to something fun. For sure. So... We know that Cameron Diaz and Jamie Foxx, they're playing this like ex-CIA couple. Right. They were partners. They were partners, but also married. Mm. Married. Yeah. And then something happens and their cover gets blown and they get dragged back in. Right back into the action. It's all there in the title. It is all right there in the title. So like right away in the trailer, we see Jamie Foxx with a flamethrower. Like, what more do you need? I mean, come on. And they're like parachuting out of a plane and there's tons of explosions. And there's this one line where he's like, oh, yeah, we remember stuff. And it's like they're totally poking fun at all those other spy movies. Right. Like where the whole plot hinges on the main character getting amnesia. Oh, like the Jason Bourne thing. Yeah, exactly. So it's like they're in on the joke. Yeah, they're totally winking at the audience. Which I love. Yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, but like back to Cameron Diaz for a sec. Yeah. It's got to be a big deal. For her to come back after, like, you know, being retired for almost a decade. Right. She was done. Like, she was out. Yeah. And, like, she was so successful. Hugely successful. And she just walked away. Yeah. And it's not like she was struggling to find work. <laughs> no, she could have done anything she wanted. Exactly. So it makes you wonder, you know, what brought her back. Right. Like, what is it about this particular project that, like, made her want to come back to acting? Yeah. And it makes you think about, like what it means to be an actor in Hollywood these days. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just about being famous anymore. It's about, like, having control over your career. Using your own projects. Exactly. And, like, telling stories that you're passionate about. Yeah. And and we've seen this kind of comeback thing happen before. Oh, sorry. Like, look at Brendan Fraser. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Winning an Oscar for The Whale. After, like, years of being away from the spotlight. Yeah. It's pretty inspiring. It really is. Like, it gives you hope. Speaking of inspiring. Yeah. We got to talk about Jamie Foxx. Yeah. So, like, during filming, he had that really scary uh, medical emergency. It was serious. Yeah, nobody really knew what was going on for a while. It was all very hush hush. Yeah. And of course, everyone was worried. Totally. But thankfully, he recovered. Yeah. And he was able to go back and finish the movie. I know. That's amazing. Really incredible. But it does make you think about, like, yeah. the pressure that people in Hollywood face. To, so, like, always be on. To be perfect. Yeah. And never show weakness. And for Jamie Foxx to be so open about his health struggles. Yeah. It's pretty powerful. It's huge. And he's going to be talking more about it in his new stand-up special. Yeah, that's right. Jamie Foxx. What had happened was... Can't wait for that. Me neither. Uh Uh-oh. And can we just talk about the rest of the cast for a minute? Oh, yeah. The supporting cast is stacked. Like Kyle Chandler. Coach Taylor. I know, right? Right. From Friday Night Lights. And Glenn Close. She's a legend. Seriously. And Andrew Scott. Oh, the hot priest. I know. Love him. So it's like... They really went all out with this cast. They did not mess around. And, like, I can't wait to see what they do with it. Me neither. But, um, Back in Action isn't the only thing that Cameron Diaz has coming up. Oh, that's right. She's also going to be in that movie outcome. With Jonah Hill. Uh Uh-huh. And then she's doing the voice for Shrek 5. Yeah. I'm so excited for that. Me too. So it's like she's not just dipping her toe back in. No, she's diving in head first. Right. And into, like, all these different genres. Yeah. It's cool to see her, like, branching out. Yeah. It's like... She's really taking control of her career and, like, doing what she wants. Exactly, which is awesome. So there's this line in the Back in Action trailer where Cameron Diaz's character, Emily, says, for the first time in a really long time, I felt alive again. Yeah. And, I don't know, it just kind of stuck with me. It's a good line. It is, and it made me think about, like, what makes you feel alive. Yeah, you know? like, what are those things that make you feel passionate and excited about life? Exactly, and, like, are you doing those things? That's the question, right? It is. Like, what are we waiting for? I know. So, Back in Action premieres on Netflix on January 17th, 2025. Don't miss it. Make sure you check out the trailer. And let us know what you think. Yeah, hit us up on social media. We want to hear from you.
All right, we'll be back next week with another deep dive. See you then. Bye. Bye.